Hey, I love you. I admire you. You are outgoing. You can speak English. Come here, let's walk. Teach English to people you meet. Tell them how important they are to you. We never know if they need a positive word from us. And the cost of doing it is zero. And the feeling of doing it, of doing it is amazing. Hello, my friend! <laughs> Welcome back! It's a pleasure, it's an honor to have you here. Today we study how to describe people. What are the adjectives we can use to describe people? How can I describe someone from my family? How can I describe a friend of mine? How can I describe myself? It's a nice class. You're gonna learn and participate and invent your examples. But first thing, please grab this equipment here, which is fantastic. This device here is amazing. I love it. But when I'm studying, when I am focused in one task, I leave it on airplane mode. This way I will not be interrupted during this class. This way I will be 100% dedicated to your growth, to your learning. All right, before we start, let me read part of this book here to you, Men's Search for Meaning, written by Viktor Frankl, this guy was kept in the concentration camp and he wrote this amazing book. In this part he says, We will hardly find someone in the human existence so good as humor to create distance and allow the person to be ahead of the situation, even though for some seconds. When we try to see things from a funny perspective, we have a strategy to live better. How can we use the humor the good humor to help us navigate the challenges of our lives. Smile, please. If you can, stop in front of the mirror and laugh. Laugh to yourself. When you do it, you renew your energy. Okay? Let's activate our body, our mind, and our spirit, my dear. Release your arms. Now we are going to do that movement of running. I invite you to run with me. We are going to do this movement here as if we were running, okay? Keep your feet on the ground and let's do this movement here. We're going to count to 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. Release your arms, move your legs. 
move your neck. Now let's close and open our arms as if we were swimming, okay? You were going to do this movement here. One, you count for us, please. Two, three, four, Doing this movement here reminds me of last weekend when I was with my family swimming on a river next to my city in Bonito. Watch this for three seconds. All right. Okay, let's keep our warm up. Now, hands like this, up and down. Up and down. Ten times, and you count for us, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now let's breathe. I'm sweating already. This is good. This is wonderful. I'm activating myself. I'm getting ready for our class. Let's breathe now, my friend. We're going to breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Okay? Here we go. Be stable. Let's go. Once more, breathe in, hold, breathe out. All right. Are you prepared? Of course we are. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's see different adjectives to describe people. Some people are quiet, other people are talkative. Some people are shy, other people are outgoing. Some people are lazy, other people are very active. Smart, interesting, friendly, kind, strict, demanding, amazing, wonderful. What else? Young, old,
What else? Stubborn. We use these adjectives when people ask about other people. We use these adjectives to describe people. I ask you, what's your father like? You tell me, he is strict, he is quiet, he is not very outgoing. Mm, okay, and your mom, what's she like? Mom, oh, she is very talkative. I'm talking about my mom. She is very talkative, she is outgoing, she is smart. She's not very strict. She's very easygoing. Dad is down to earth. Dad is very practical. He is very rational. And you ask me, okay, what about your daughter? What's your daughter like, Philippe? Well, Duda is very talkative. Lulu is talkative too. Duda is very active. She likes to play. She likes to touch people. And Lulu likes to eat. She loves eating. When we're eating, she comes, she wants to grab a piece of our food. They are very sweet. They are sweet girls. They are lovely. I am strict. I like to set limits. I ask them to ask, to say please, to say excuse me, to say thank you, to look the people into their eyes. I'm sweating. One moment, please. Is it hot there? What's the weather like in your city? Is it hot? Cold? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Cloudy? You see that we are studying the weather in context. All right, now I ask you questions. What's your best friend like? You tell me, he is shy or she is outgoing. What's your... Do you have brothers? Okay. What's your brother like? What's your sister like? Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's keep talking about how to describe people. I was telling you adjectives to describe the personality. She is shy. He is outgoing. Now, I tell you some adjectives to describe the body. You can say, he is short, tall, thin, fat. Beautiful, ugly. What else? Hairy, bold. She has long hair. He has short hair. He has a mustache. He has a beard. 
Here we go. Mr. Felipe Dib, how to describe people? Let's start seeing the family. space here. All right, this is the basic family. Here we have father or dad. Here we have mother or mom. These guys are the parents. Parents. Be careful because this is a false cognate. Parents are dad and mom. Relatives are the other members of the family. Okay? Relatives. Parents. These are the grandparents. This is grandfather, grandpa. Can you read? I think it's small. Grandmother or grandma. I hope you can read it. Please comment here if you can read, if this is visible to you. If this is not visible, I can comment and write the words to you later. All right, these are the grandparents. These are the parents and these are the children, the kids. Children. If the son is a boy, we call it son. If it's a girl, I have two girls, so they are my daughters. If this is a girl, daughter. Let's write another daughter here. All right, these are the parents. If they are married, if they are married, the father is the husband. The mother is the wife. They're kids. If it's a boy, son. If it's a girl, daughter. The son and the daughter, they are brothers. The girls, they are sisters. And from this vocabulary, we move to the vocabulary to describe people. I ask you, where is your grandpa from? You tell me, he is from Brazil. 
How old is he? He is 85. What? <laughs> I'm laughing here because this is a mess. This is my last question and answer. I erase the whole board and we start organized, okay? What's he like? He is amazing. He is very generous. Let's erase the board. To talk about grandma. Sorry. Where is she from? How old is she? What's she like? Where is she from? She's from Sao Paulo. How old is she? She's 75. What's she like? She's shy. Now let's talk about the father. Where is he from? He's from Bahia. How old is he? He is 61. What's he like? He's very strict. I'm asking, what's he like? He's very strict. This is different from how is he? If I ask how is he, you tell me he's fine. See the difference? What's he like? He's strict. He's demanding. He's quiet. How is he? He's fine. He's okay. Do you see the difference? I'm going to write three questions about your family. Why do I write the questions you watch a video? Three, two, one. Who is someone you really admire? Quién es alguien que tú realmente admiras? Listen, Jessica, my English teacher. She is incredibly talented and creative. And she has a great sense of humor. She's pretty disorganized, though. She forgets something almost every class, 
but her classes are absolutely wonderful. Mike, I really admire a guy in my karate class. He's extremely competitive, but when he wins, he's not arrogant like some of the other guys. He's not very outgoing, so some people think he is unfriendly, but I think he's basically just shy. Now listen to another student, Brian. I think my dad is a pretty cool guy. We get along really well. Nos damos muy bien. Nos llevamos muy bien. He is fairly easygoing and laid back. Tranquilo. And he's very practical. And down to earth. So, he always gives me good advice. Él siempre me da buen consejo. Also, he's completely honest with me. I can trust, puedo confiar. I can trust what he says. Another student, Emilia. I admire my friend Luisa. She's so helpful and generous. I mean, she's always doing things for other people. She is not selfish at all. No es egoísta. And she's totally reliable, confiable. If she says she will help you with something, she does. You can always count on her. Tú puedes siempre contar con ella. Yes, I didn't write the questions because I was watching the video with you. I write them right now. Where are you? Where are you from? You, a you answer. I'm from, and then you tell me your city. What are you like? I'm asking you about your personality, about your character. What are you like? You tell me. I'm outgoing, or I am shy or I'm quiet or I am talkative I am friendly I am lazy I am disciplined I am generous, I am focused, I am dedicated. From what I know you, I believe you are generous, you are dedicated, and you were friendly. Am I correct about you? Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. I have a challenge for you. When we finish this class, the first person you meet is someone you were going to give a compliment. You're going to say something positive to this person. For example, we finish this class. You meet a coworker. You're going to look at this person and say, "Hey, I admire you. You are strong. You are kind. You are beautiful. You are generous. You are honest." If you meet a member of your family, stop this person. Look this person into their eyes 
into his or into her eyes and say, hey, I love you. I admire you. You were outgoing. You can speak English. Come here. Let's walk. Teach English to people you meet. Tell them how important they are to you. We never know if they need a positive word from us. And the cost of doing it is zero. And the feeling of doing it, of doing it is amazing. Go ahead, do it, and come back here to tell me how the experience was. Three, two, one. Yes, we're finishing one more class. I don't need to tell you that I'm happy, that I'm grateful, that I feel your progress. Congratulations. From this class, please remember the difference between how is your mom and what's your mom like? These are two different questions. When I ask you, how is your mom? You answer me, she is fine, she is okay, or she is tired, or she is sick, or she is happy. When I ask you, what's your mom like? You're gonna tell me, she is talkative, she is outgoing, she is friendly. Okay? How is she? She's fine. What's she like? When we have this like at the end of the sentence and the what at the beginning. This is the meaning. What's she like? She is nice. She is amazing. Okay? Comment here, what is your mom like? I'm happy to see your progress. Keep studying, my friend. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class.